Hey there, it's Dr. Kamisa. Welcome back to our video series. And today we're going to continue our investigation into regenerative types of therapy. And today's topic is going to be PRP. So stay tuned. I'm going to explain what PRP is. If you're new to our channel, please uh, subscribe to us, turn on your notifications, give us a thumbs up. But stay tuned. I've got lots to share about this. So when we're talking about platelet-rich plasma or PRP, let's talk, let's take a look at what's in the blood first. So you're going to see a picture here and on the picture you're going to see that the plasma, which is mostly water, which, carry, which is our transportation system in the blood system, it carries the, the proteins and the vitamins and the hormones and protects us against infection and it also removes the waste products. And so the plasma is 55% of the volume of our, of our blood. 45% of the volume is the red blood cells. And then the last percentage is less than 1%, and that's going to be the white blood cells and the platelets themselves. So that's what makes up, that's what's inside the blood itself. Now that we know what's in the blood, how do we get PRP then? Well, I'm going to do a separate video on, on the processing because it's a very cool technology. And so what actually happens is, let's say for example, we're going to draw, this is 60 cc's of blood here, two ounces of blood, right? So that's what we're going to draw out of you. And out of this blood draw, now this is 60, so half of this, more than about 33 millimeters of this, 33 cc's over half of this volume is going to be plasma. That's really what we want. We want to get rid of the stuff we don't want. And through the process of, of developing the PRP and processing the PRP, we end up with a concentration as high as seven times the growth factors that are normally circulating in our blood. So just look at this. This is the volume that we draw out and this is the volume that we get left with after we do all the processing and concentration. Now, what's in here that's so valuable? And that's what I'm going to explain next. So when we look at the final product of the PRP, and obviously it's not blue. This is some Gatorade that we had in the fridge. And, uh, but what makes this so powerful? And so because there's growth factors in here, and you're going to see a picture on the video where you're going to see the processing system that we use, which is called M-Site Processing, which is E-M-C-Y-T-E, M-Site Processing. And that processing is able to get up to the, it's the highest concentration available in the market today for concentrating all the growth factors. So that's nice, but what do the growth factors do? And so let's take a look what happens when you're injured and then see what the growth factors can actually do. Let's take a look what happens when you get injured. And so we're looking, if we're looking at tendons and ligaments or maybe cartilage, we've strained the tissues. And so if it's a really bad strain or a really bad injury and you fracture something, you're going to need to have surgery done. If you've completely torn your rotator cuff or your biceps, you're going to need to have surgery done to stitch everything back together. That's too severe for any kind of regenerative medicine. But let's just say you, you injure yourself repeatedly or you've injured yourself to a point where there is quite a bit of damage. And after the initial healing phase of your body, which is going to produce the swelling and the pain and the redness and the inflammation. And so once that initial swelling process and healing process is done, what's left? Well, you have this gap between the amount of healing that's taken place and how much tissue damage there still is. So you have this big gap here. And so we need to fill this gap with tissue healing. And so what happens is that when your body is injured, all the circulating growth factors that are coming to the scene of the injury, let's call that a 1x. So that's just your body's natural ability to heal itself. We're going to call that 1x. 
And when we talked about the concentrating of growth factors, right? Why is that so important is because now we're able to concentrate those circulating growth factors to a number of 7x. That's the strongest we can produce in today's marketplace is seven times the concentration. So what does that mean? That means now if we have this gap of tissue that needs to be healed, we actually can go get the healing product, which is in here, get these growth factors and go exactly to where they need to go. If it's a shoulder or wherever it needs to go, and obviously you know we do these injections by the high def ultrasound unit that we have now, and uh, every injection is guided, but we're taking the growth factors that are circulating, we're concentrating them, we're making them up to seven times their normal body's response, and now we're going to put it exactly where it needs to go to heal the tendons, the ligaments, the cartilage, the muscle, and the bone tissue. That's what these growth factors do. When, we've, when we're concentrating to, the, to this extent, they have a very powerful effect to start the healing process and get that gap closed in. And maybe it's going to, maybe one treatment of PRP will get it all the way. I don't know. And that's when we do the diagnostics. We've covered that before when we do the diagnostics, whether it's x ray or ultrasound, to figure out how extensive the injury is. But this is a very powerful way to start to fill that gap. So the more chronic the injuries become, the, the more severe the injury was initially, then you need help to get it all the way there. So once we inject the cells, how long before we can, before you can start to see a change in the, in the tissue itself? Well, if you're planting a tomato seed in the garden, you're not going to see tomatoes overnight, are you? No, it takes a process of water and nutrients and sunshine and time, right? It takes time to see change, right? It's kind of like, oh, I, I went to the gym yesterday. God, it was a miracle. One, one workout and I'm, I'm this amazing person. And uh, no, it takes time to see the change. And so from the time it's injected, you're probably not going to see a change for maybe three to four weeks, five weeks. But here's the thing is that those cells are going to be working full tilt to about somewhere in the range of eight to 10 weeks. So the soonest that we could redo another PRP injection would be three months. You want to give those cells a complete cycle of proliferation, a complete cycle of healing to do their job. Now, maybe the one injection would be enough. We don't know. That's why we would redo a pre post check on the tissue, whether it's ultrasound or x-ray, look at your function, look at your pain levels, look at your, how you're living in your, in your activities of daily life. There's lots of factors we can look at, but it's about a three month window before we would want to consider redoing another injection. So who's a candidate for PRP injections? Well, someone that has had a chronic injury, someone who has had stuff lasting for years, someone that has had, maybe they've had several cortisone injections in the past. Maybe they've been dealing this with 10 or 15 years. Maybe it's, uh, you know, they have good days, bad days, and when they overdo it, it shuts them down for three or four days. You know, the more chronic it is, the more you're going to be a candidate for this because there's going to be that bigger gap of healing that needs to take place. Yes, is it great for new injuries? Uh, if you're an athlete that injured themselves and you're aware of this market, well, that's absolutely the best time to do that so that you just ex uh, uh, expedite that healing process in general. But typically, the more chronic the situation is, the more you are going to be a candidate for this. But as always, we want to investigate is to find out uh, what level of injury you have by measuring the tissue and measuring the x-rays, whatever we need to do to find out if you are indeed a candidate for PRP therapy. I like to say that the PRP, platelet-rich plasma, when we inject this, 
This is the first time you've given yourself a gift because these are your cells. And when, we're, when I'm working with your cells, it's zero tolerance. It's a very humbling feeling to, to deal with your cells in my hands through our technology here. But giving you a gift from you to you through us is very empowering, very exciting for us. But it's all about you. It's about getting you to do what you want to do, empowering you to live your best day every day. And if we need some help doing that, then so be it. But until next time, have a very blessed day. Stay tuned for more. And if you're new to us, please subscribe to us, turn on our notifications and give us a thumbs up. So have a blessed day.